All right, so today uh, I'm going to show you how to fix a very common um, issue with these guns, and that is going to be the, uh, the hammer spring. So essentially, how you know the hammer spring is broken is if the hammer uh, will not fire. So you can see that it's cocked right now. If I pull the trigger, it doesn't fire. Uh, most often, that's going to be an issue with the hammer spring um, in there. Um, now, you do want to make sure that it's not just the auto sear. So the auto sear, if I press up here, um, as if, if that can wiggle, then that's perfectly fine. That's not the issue. Um, on a normal uh, AAP that's working, if you uh, cock the hammer back too far, uh, your sear is going to drop in and catch. And then now it's not going to fire without the upper on. But um, if yours is like this, all you got to do is either put the upper on, cock it, pull the trigger, or uh, just press down right here. And then you have to press down kind of hard. But if you press down hard enough, it will release the hammer back to normal and then you can fire it all right um, but we're gonna get into fixing the broken spring it's very simple um, some of you uh, may already know what to do just by me telling you that it's a broken spring um, others uh, I will show you how to do this whole thing so you need to remove the front assembly of the gun um, so basically that's just gonna be uh, the screw right here on this side and the screw on this side, then the screw on the inside. And once that's gone, uh, we can remove the safety. So press the safety in from this side. So press it in and then use an Allen wrench or a punch tool and push on this side, on this little arm that's right here. You push on that and then you should be able to uh, free the whole um, safety. And the safety's out. We need to set everything off to the side. And then now all that's holding everything in is just this pin right here. Uh, your pin should be pressed in from this side going out the other side. So you press in like this. Uh, mine is the opposite because of my thumb rest. Um, so I'm going to do it the other way. But you should, um, you should, unless you did something weird, you should be pressing in from this side. All right. So now that I have that done, I can remove this whole piece. Um, you shouldn't have any issues with springs flying out. Um, this one flew a decent ways this time, for whatever reason. But um, there are generally not going to be any any springs that are going to launch across the room. Now back here, back here, you do have a spring that can launch across the room. And it's the spring that's holding down um, this piece right here. So make sure you're very careful with that. Um, and again, pins punch out all the same way, generally speaking. So we're going to go ahead and push them out uh, from this side. And you shouldn't need to use a mallet or anything. They should just come out easy. Um, unless you have a different grip. If you have a different grip, you might have to, to use a mallet or something. Right. Um, as I take this out, I was holding on to that piece that I said could fly across the room. And then you want to very carefully deal with that um, and get the spring out. Um, just make sure you're very careful so you don't lose it. Um, and by the way, the, the, the product that I'm going to recommend you replace this with is going to be a garter um, hammer spring. These are the ones that I use. These ones tend to be the best, I think, at least. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and punch out uh, this pin right here. Not really punch, it's more of just a push. You just got to push it out like so. Like that. And then you should have a spring that comes out as well. Uh, the spring is going to be under a little bit of uh, tension, but it's not going to fly across the room or anything, and it's a fairly large spring, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. We're going to remove all the other pieces that were down there. And then now, we are getting into the part where um, you're going to do the actual repair. So if you flip, flip it over to this side, uh, you need to punch out this pin. This pin just goes out straight through. And now, um, everything in here will just drop out. So you just can dangle it out. Um, and it'll just come out. Uh, the other, the auto sear that I was talking about earlier, leave that in. Don't take that out. You don't need to take that out. But you can see here the broken piece, right like that, compared to the normal piece. So it is missing a whole arm on there, right? And that is 
That's what the issue is, obviously. Um, so we're going to go ahead and repair this. So basically, when you put it in the gun, make sure that the you have basically the spring is in that orientation and the hammer is in this orientation. So basically, you do this. You're going to have the little arm is pointing towards the heart and the big arm is pointing um, down away from the heart. I don't know if I can get a better image of this or not. Basically, little arm points towards the heart, big arm points down. And then once you have that, you can grab your housing. You're going to drop in this piece. So this piece, if you uh, hold the housing like this, right? Uh, be careful to watch that hook, where that hook is. Um, this piece is going to go in like that. All right, and it has a little notch that's inside. I don't know if you can see that little hole that's in there. Basically, it, it just needs to sit in that hole. Um, I found the piece of the broken hammer. Uh, basically, so you can just, I just drop it in, just like like um, like this, and then fiddle with it until it's in there. And basically, it's gonna poke out um, on the bottom, kind of like, like that. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it right there. That's that, that square, basically. Once it's in there, then you're going to put in your hammer. And then remember where the spring was placed um, on the hammer. And then basically, the hammer is going to um, come in from the, the top, right? So it's going to go in with the spring pointing like that into here like so and then you want to catch the little spring arm on uh, the ledge that's right here and you'll probably be able to see in a second exactly where but it's this flat ledge right here All right, so you can probably see where it is now hopefully maybe maybe you can see maybe you can't but it's resting on that ledge and then you need to line up the hole so you need to line up the hole And once you think you have the hole lined up, then you can drop in the pin. And then this is putting the hammer in and getting the hole lined up is the hardest part of this whole process. But it's not that difficult. It just takes some fiddling um, to get in there exactly correct. And a couple tries normally. Um, rarely do I ever get it in first try. Uh, make sure you don't lose that piece. That piece is very important. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I wish there was an easier way to do this, but there just isn't. And that's okay. And then I'll push through all the way. And once that's through, just double check, make sure you can pull on the hammer, and the hammer is going to fling back forwards, and that's all good. So now we can go ahead and start putting the other stuff in. So this piece right here. This is going to go in here. It's going to lay down like that on that side. And then this spring, this spring can be dropped on just like so. And then this pin is going to go back through. Once that pin is through, then you can attach the spring arm to the little piece. So the spring arm goes onto that triangular piece. So basically, if you cock the hammer um, and push on the little uh, square down here at the same time, you're going to expose uh, the triangle. I don't know if I can get this on camera very well, but you expose the triangle a little bit and then just use your finger to pull that spring into place. And then once that's in, you can just confirm everything works again before you put it back together. Uh, if you cock the hammer, uh, don't cock it too far, just cock it until the first click. And then use your Allen wrench, your punch tool or something right here. And then you just need to pull on this uh, going this way. Sorry. And if it fires, then it fires. All right. Now you got to put everything back in. So spring for the fire pin. This is the one that you could lose. So be careful. Uh, you just need to put that on there. And then the fire pin is going to kind of uh, wiggle its way into place like so. And then you can drop the whole chunk into the 
uh, into the receiver again. If I can get it, <laughs> there it goes. Um, once that's in, I grab my trigger and I'm going to um, sort of get the trigger dropped into the trigger hole and then I'm going to pull this out again. And then being careful of the, the spring that's under tension, you need to make sure that the trigger bar gets seated like that, how it is right there. If it's seated like that, then you're, you're set. You can drop everything back down and then press on this button right here so you can get everything locked into place and then you're all set there, right? So now these two pins go back in. So dumbbell pin goes in the back. And then the non-dumbbell pin goes in the, um, the bottom like that. And then now uh, this large chunk is gonna go back in like that. Right up here, hopefully, yeah, there it goes. And then this piece, I always forget when I first look at it, um, it it's gonna go in like this. So, um, I don't know if you can tell which, uh, the way the arms are, it's like this, and then you rotate it this way. And then you can drop the spring. The spring is going to go on to this little piece right here. It hooks on to that. It hooks on right down there. I don't know if you can see. And then I grab onto the spring and then the the whole thing. And then I just slide it in place. Um, basically, this goes on both sides of the trigger. And I put it into place just like that. And it's all set. And then now I grab this spring. This one. And this spring basically just hooks onto the trigger bar. And then it's going to hook in up here as well. And I normally do this with my hand. It tends to be the easiest way for me to do it. Um, but most people are going to use like a, a tool for that. But I find that my hand works the easiest. And then the trigger pin, I'm going to put the trigger pin in. And then we're going to put the, uh, the, the safety in. So the safety, uh, it goes in like this, straight in through this way. And then it will just uh, push in. And then you need to use your Allen wrench on the little arm again and just help uh, ease the whole thing into place, right? Now, uh, we only have a couple more things left. We just have the, the screws on the side of the gun. And then we'll be all set. Um, after I get this put on, we can confirm that it works. And then we'll be all set. All right, so now all we have to do is pull back the hammer until it clicks the first time. Um, and then once it clicks the first time, go ahead, pull the trigger, make sure that it fires, and you're all set. Um, I would also like you to confirm a double check, pull it back uh, for the first click, and then also the second click, and then press up here, make sure that this is going to uh, be able to release the hammer, like so, and then pull the trigger again. And yep, you're all set. So I hope that was useful if you needed that help. Um, and again, the hammer spring that I used was this one. This is the one that I like to use. Um, but you can use whatever hammer spring you want. There's lots of options out there. Um, I just prefer that one. And that is, uh, that is it. I hope that was useful if you needed it. Um, have, a, uh, have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this video was useful for you. And make sure you check out uh, the link down below. Uh, that is a link to our Discord server. And you are welcome to join. All right? Have a nice day. Thank you.